once again. I am have been impressed about the Nintendo Direct that has happened last week. And now it is time for a video to review on my thoughts about how this Nintendo Direct has went. So, to be honest, this Nintendo Direct was the best one that I've seen. And it did give like a bunch of details about games that were coming out. Now, the way I look at it, this has been part two of some of the 3DS games that have been announced on the March 8th Direct. Such as WarioWare and the Luigi's Mansion for the 3DS, which is the GameCube remake for the 3DS. And we also have new Switch titles that are coming out. Now, the one that I am most anticipated for is Animal Crossing for the Switch. And then, this is another game that none of... I'm pretty sure not many of you know about this. But one of my favorite titles... I'm playing it right now. But one of my favorite titles coming out for the Switch is Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures. That's what it's titled. Now, the way that I might see Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures working would be just the same as Thrillville for the Wii. I'm pretty sure many of you own that game for the Wii. Maybe some of you don't. Maybe you Maybe you don't own it for the Wii. Maybe you own Thrillville for the Xbox. Or PS2. Whatever. Whatever the game was on. Now. Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures. They said it was going to come out in the fourth quarter of the year. Now, if I had to take a really good guess, it would be October. That I'm not too far off from that guess. If it says the fourth quarter, I would imagine that it would be the fourth quarter, which is the fourth season that kicks off fall. And the first month that kicks off fall... Is actually mid September, but I'm saying I'm saying October because October is the first full month of fall, and I'm pretty sure many of you could agree with me on that. So the point that I want to make is this game would probably have you. Um, explore your park have like that similar Thrillville concept where you you go around your park you take care of your guests and you you manage your own amusement park now that that, my friends, is something to be really excited about. If you're really into tycoon games like I am, then this game is something to be hyped up for. Second game that hypes me up is Animal Crossing. And it said right on, uh, right on Switch Planet, that this game is going to come out in spring of 2019. That's, to my estimate, I'm going to make an educated guess here. Animal Crossing for the Switch may not come out until March or April. That's 
where I'm going to put my guesses right there. So, yeah, some great titles to be hyped up for. I'm, everybody loves Animal Crossing. I do, too. And when, I gotta be honest, when I saw Isabel being put in that Isabel Smash trailer, I was beginning to think that they kind of just, like, fooled me right there. I mean, that that was a really, really good prank that I thought was right there. And then... Right at the end of the Smash trailer for Isabel, they had the announcement that Animal Crossing for the Switch was going to be coming out. And that was pretty surprising. It was like two it was like two announcements in one, which um, probably it was the first time that it ever happened during a direct <coughs> so, oh, excuse me for that. Uh, so, we got some very, very good titles that are coming out. We are going to be getting these Final Fantasy games put on the Switch. I'm glad to see that the Switch is actually getting some very, very similar... PS4 titles that would allow you to crossplay. I mean, I'm just gonna say this: it's glad, it's good that these PS4 games are coming out for the Switch and getting Switch and getting the Switch version of the PS4 games and being able to play crossplay on that. It's actually really good. But it's a bad thing for Sony. And this is not the topic that I was going to discuss today about Sony. It was about the Nintendo Direct. So, we can be hyped up for these next few games that are coming out. So, as we just mentioned, three are going to come out on October 16th. And be sure to watch Switch Planet 2. Because Nintendo may not know when the release dates of their some of their upcoming titles are going to be. But you could definitely watch Switch Planet. And watch those games that have been confirmed by Nintendo. And they will have the release dates on when the games are supposed to release. This is why Switch Plan is a really, really good source of information. Because it gives you... It gives you the... It gives you the foreshadow of all the games that are coming out in the future. Now, not everything on Switch Planet is... All confirmed. Sometimes they show games that are just like rumored. And could become. They might become. They might become confirmed. They might not. So. That's my thoughts for the this for the Nintendo Direct that happened last month. I mean, last week. Sorry. And we will see the Switch continue to grow and succeed. Remember that crappy E3 that everybody was watching? And the only thing that they showed was Super Smash Bros.? Well, now... This is Nintendo's chance to fix all that. And they're doing it by announcing all these great games that are coming out for the Switch. Including 
these NES games that you can play online. If I had to really, really say something, it'd be the future for the Switch is great. And nobody, nobody can say no that we haven't seen the Switch all these, all these years just completely amaze people about the new games that have just, that have came out. I don't know how anybody could say no to that question or answer because this is the future of Nintendo Switch. This is something to really, really enjoy. And if there were ever a time where Nintendo Switch sales did drop again, I'm going to say this again, and listen to me well, because what I'm going to say, if something like this were to ever happen again, where the Switch's sales would drop because of some bad E3 or not enough video game information announced at a Nintendo Direct. I would not freak out about it. And there are many people out there that are saying that, oh, the Switch is just going to be another failure like the Wii U. No, Nintendo noticed the mistake with the Wii U. And they noticed that there were going to be some problems with the Wii U. So they, so they developed the Nintendo Switch to fix all that and give people a better gaming experience. I mean, the Switch is a good console to have, but it's not as good as the Nintendo Switch, to be honest with you right there. But it doesn't mean that I stopped using it. And there's many people that go online on the Wii U to play Super Smash Brothers and Mario Kart 8, Pokken Tournament, you name it. There are a lot of games that are for the Wii U. And, to be honest, some people still want to use the Wii U for internet because they don't have the money to afford the online service on the Switch. I get that. And she also know that... Our year... Of having the Nintendo Switch. Is good. Actually it's a great year for 2018. But. I can I will say this. 2019 is going to be way better. Way better. Because we are getting titles. That are going to make the Switch. The greatest successful console out there in the market. And so far, in my opinion, I think Nintendo is going to be the best, the best company out there that are making these games. And also, the Switch is getting third-party titles and AAA games. That's what makes the Switch so great, because you can take it anywhere with you. And this is why I still watch Switch Planet. Because I want to see what kind of games developers can put right onto the Nintendo Switch. 
And that's something that I really want to see. I want to see great games come out for the Switch. I obviously want to see Roller Coaster Tycoon Adventures come on the Switch in the second quarter of the I mean, fifth quarter of the year. Or fourth quarter of the year. I'm getting my information wrong. I apologize. But yeah. That's actually pretty good. Plus, we're also going to see more titles for the Switch be announced. But it's not going to be from Nintendo themselves. It can be from Atari, whatever, you name it. And that's just something to be really, really excited about. And with that said, I'd also like to wait for 2019, like mid-2019, to go by. So that we can actually get a foreshadow of the games that are coming out for the Switch in 2020. That's a really, really good... I'm going to say it's a good thing to be excited about. And... I will say this. I love the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch can be addicting too, but... A lot of times they try not to. But... I can't really help it. The Nintendo Switch is great. I can't stop playing that and... Because of all the great games that are out there. Octopath Traveler is probably the most addicting one out there. I even have Destronaut Super Destronaut um, DX. And that's a really, really great arcade game. I'm still waiting for my Monopoly for Nintendo Switch download code to get here. But the thing is, I'm going to have to pay for the online service before I can download it. So this is all I have to say today. I hope you all, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all later.